Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a magic book review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Thanks for showing up. It's Friday, it's Friday. And on Friday, typically what I do is I review a magic book. Mondays, I do card reviews, deck reviews. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, magic tricks, the latest and the greatest. Fridays, a book review. Hey, there's no other review channel out there on the YouTube that does this. Nobody else. Nobody else reviews this much. Nobody else puts out a video every single day. If you appreciate what I do, even if you, even if you hate watch, right? <laughs> you hate watch, you hate this channel, you hate me, like this video anyway. Do it ironically. <laughs> hit this video up with a like, give me a follow, uh, subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell, let me know that you appreciate what it is that I do. Today we're gonna look at a classic. This is a classic book. I think it's a classic now. I, this is where I would put this book. This is a classic of mentalism. This is A Piece of My Mind from Michael Murray and Hair Sign Press. All right, A Piece of My Mind. What is this? This is a 264 page treatise, right? It is a, it is a tome. It is a, it is a massive book on mentalism. Okay. Michael Murray done a lot of reviews for him. A uh, big, huge fan of Michael Murray, pretty much everything he puts out. I purchased this book, uh, from penguinmagic.com for $75. Uh, you can buy this book as paperback for $75. You can also get this book as a PDF. You can download this book as a PDF, comes to you immediately for only $60. So you get a little bit of a deal there, uh, getting at the PDF. And I would just say if you're into mentalism and you appreciate magic books, definitely want to watch this review. This was the Tar Bell Award winner, Book of the Year for 2014. And if you go to the product review page, you're going to find a ton of uh, praise, a ton of quotes from some really super heavy hitters in the mentalism industry. Uh, names like Mark Elston, Peter Turner, Colin McLeod, uh, Richard Osterland, Banachek, and many others. Now, of course, I can't go through this entire book. I can't. It's way too big. And for me just to describe every single trick and essay uh, just out loud verbally would be boring and the video would be way too long. Okay. So I can't, I can't explain what every trick looks like. Uh, but what I can do is I can just briefly show you the table of contents. First thing you're going to notice in the introduction section, you've got a forward from Mark Elston and Peter Turner and Stephen Shaw. All right. So pretty amazing to have a book that has that many forwards. Uh, the routines, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six routines there. Uh, pause for thought. There's another four entries there. Going propless. Uh, what does a mentalist do? That's a great essay. Dave's pin is one of the best tricks in this book, Picasso. Uh, some thoughts on billet work. Uh, the why write down a thought has another great essay about why we do what we do. Uh, a couple more tricks underneath that one, principles within mentalism. And he talks about what are principles in that essay right there. Uh, the universal force technique springboard, which is amazing. We'll talk about that. The comparative uncertainty principle, the cups uh, idea. That's amazing. We'll talk about that. Uh, the boomerang force is another great principle uh, taught in this book. Underneath that, you're going to see the Pandora reading system, animal instincts, personal identification number. There's a bonus there, some closing words, thanks, and some crediting. Like I said, 264 pages. This book is filled with black and white photographs. Um, it's massive. It is absolutely massive. And even at $75, this is a steal. But if I were just to give you my thoughts, okay, my thoughts about this, um, I would just say, you know, a lot of mentalism, a lot of mentalism is based off of older principles, right? And it's rare that you're going to come across something that's completely new, right? Completely new that you're like, wow, I've never heard that or seen of that before. Obviously, there is so much in this book. The point of this book is not to give you a hundred new tricks that you're going to perform. Obviously, that is not going to happen. But even if there's a couple of tricks in this book that you perform, one or two, and in reading some of the essays, if there's just a few principles that you adopt, that makes it worth it right there. Michael Murray has a brilliant mind and he's easily one of the best authors in mentalism today. And I'd highly recommend all of his books. 
With his writing, hopefully you'll learn more than just tricks, but rather I think he would hope that you would gain new inspiration and incorporate new concepts into what you're already doing. When I read Michael's writings, he forces me to look at mentalism differently because I think his approach is so unique. You know, I think a lot of us make the mistake of chasing after the elusive best trick or uh, the trick that we say gets you the best reaction. But I think the longer you stay in magic, I think you'll find that those tricks don't exist. You and I don't need more tricks, but we do need more tools, better methods that make sense. And I think we need to be inspired. And I think Michael Murray does that. Some favorites that I already mentioned, the comparative uncertainty principle is worth the book right here. It's as close to real mind reading as you may ever get. Um, others I've read have really loved the pin number routine. That's a propolis method for revealing the pin details uh, of five different spectators. The springboard principle is certainly one I'm going to use. This is where you teach your spectators a skill that will allow them to read each other's minds. Uh, others love the boomerang force. This is a method for allowing you to control your spectators' choices while they are changing their mind. Absolutely tons of great stuff to everything you'd expect from Michael Murray. If you already know Michael Murray, you already know uh, his reputation. So a book filled with mentalism tricks uh, of, of, all, of all sorts and essays, um, this is certainly a book that you're going to want to read again and again and again. Positives, I think I already said enough positives, right? I said enough glowing things about this, as I do with all his books. All his books. Go back and watch some of my other uh, reviews for his products. Uh, I can't stop saying enough great things about him. Um, is it worth your money? Of course it is, right? And I, and I hope that that's come across in what I've just said, right? Uh, as, if, if you invest in books, okay? And I think that's a target audience right there. If you're the kind of person that invests in books and you enjoy reading mentalism, you enjoy reading new ideas, even though you realize I might not do any of the tricks in this book, right? Because you realize that just seeing how other people perform and gleaning inspiration from people who just don't think like you, you acknowledge that that in and of itself is beneficial, right? And you're a fan of Michael Murray, or you just love having uh, new books to inspire you, new mentalism books, I think you'll definitely love this book. All right, that's everything I can say about a piece of my mind from Michael Murray and mind effects. Of course, I purchased mine from penguinmagic.com. And if you'd like to purchase yours, I would suggest you head there as well. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, would you like to learn a magic trick? You would. Did you know I have a second channel? That's right. I have a second channel where I teach beginning level magic tricks. Magic Channel Card Tricks is a place that you can go to to learn tricks with ordinary items you can find around the house. Paper clips, rubber bands, pens, and of course, decks of cards. I teach beginning level card tricks, simple card tricks, simple card forces that anybody could learn. I also review magic kits. So if you go buy a magic kit from the store, uh, your local Walmart or Target, uh, or you get a magic kit for Christmas, I'll go over exactly what's inside. And I'll even teach you how to perform with some of those tricks that you get inside those kits. Plus, I'm even going to give you video instruction to very simple, very inexpensive tricks that you can pick up at your favorite magic store. Sometimes you get those tricks and the instructions are just on a tiny little piece of typewritten paper and you have no idea how to do that trick, don't throw that trick away. Don't put it in a box. Come back to Magic Channel Card Tricks and I will teach you how to use that trick as well. Or maybe you're not a beginner. Maybe you're not a beginner, but maybe you have a niece or a nephew or a little brother or sister that is, that you could share this channel with them. This is a great, safe place, kid-friendly, where they can learn beginning level magic. Make sure you head on over to Magic Channel Card Tricks. Give my videos a like. Subscribe to that channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being a part of Magic Orthodoxy.